This is a rough 3D model of the AMC Pacer, and we are going to use it as a reference and overlay for our new 2024 AMC Pacer concept design. This is because we want to stay true to the original but with modern design techniques. Our process will begin with sketching out an overlay in Photoshop and finally rendering in Viscom. The AMC Pacer is a compact car produced by the American Motors Corporation between 1975 and 1980, known for its unique rounded shape and wide body. Its design was quite distinctive for the era and featured a wide stance for a compact car, which gave it a unique fishbowl appearance due to its large glass area. The Pacer's width is similar to that of many full-sized cars at the time. This was intended to offer the interior roominess and comfort of a larger car, which was quite innovative for a compact vehicle. It had an unusually large amount of glass, which was intended to provide improved visibility and a brighter, more spacious feeling cabin. The passenger door was made larger than the driver's door to facilitate passenger entry and exit, a feature that was quite unique at the time. The Pacer was initially designed to accommodate a Wankel rotary engine. However, due to the cancellation of General Motors' rotary engine project, AMC was forced to equip the Pacer with inline six and V8 engine options. It featured power-assisted rack and pinion steering, which was not common in American cars at the time, as well as front disc brakes. Upon release, the Pacer was quite popular, selling well in its first two years. It was marketed as the first wide small car, and its design garnered a lot of attention. The car's fuel efficiency was not as competitive as other compact cars, especially during the fuel crisis of the 1970s. Over time, the Pacer has developed a cult following and is considered an icon of 1970s American automotive design. Its unique appearance has led it to be featured in various films and TV shows, often used to add a touch of retro humor or nostalgia. The Pacer was available in a few different trim levels, including the base model, the upscale DL, and the Sporty X package. In 1977, a wagon version was introduced, providing more cargo space and a different rear design. Despite its initial popularity, sales began to decline after the first few years. The Pacer's unconventional looks, along with performance and efficiency concerns, led to a drop in consumer interest. The introduction of more conventional and fuel-efficient competitors contributed to the Pacer's decreasing sales. Production ultimately ended in 1980, after which the Pacer became a footnote as a unique and bold experiment in car design during a period of significant change in the automotive industry. Today, the AMC Pacer is remembered for its bold design choices and remains a piece of American automotive history. Collectors and enthusiasts often seek out Pacers for their uniqueness and nostalgic value. And there you have it, a bit of history for you on the AMC Pacer. In the meantime, I invite you to sit back and relax and watch how I develop this Pacer concept to the end. And by the way, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for the views. Thank <laughs> you.